Howdy folks, TJ here. Oh, I have something cool today. No, it's not a super expensive computer, but it is a computer. And for some people, they may be going, eh. But for me, I love these kinds of computers. I've been eyeballing one for a while, and I finally pulled the trigger because one popped up locally. Been watching them on the flea bay. The price range is anywhere from around $100 to $150 range. I ended up getting three items for $125 plus gas and time to get there and not being able to test everything because sometimes folks have old computers but they don't have all the right cabling for it. But I was able to test a couple of things and I was starting to feel good about this purchase. So what did I buy? I've never owned one. Never owned a Radio Shack TRS-80 before. Had lots of friends in the olden days that had TRS-80. Got to use them at school. The older original models from the late 70s. Not this fabulous color version that I purchased. This came out a little afterwards. But what did I purchase? A Radio Shack. TRS-80 MC-10 in box with a printer, TP-10 printer. We'll show this a little closer here in a second. And no box on this one, but it also came with the cassette player. For 125 bucks, I think I did pretty good. I was able to test the tape player there to make sure it powered on and spun. They were using this generic adapter, though. And I look at it now. Oh, it's making a little noise. And they have it set for like 9 volts. On the corner of this thing, there's two ports. One for 110 and one for a 6-volt DC. And this is on 9 volts. So hopefully they didn't run it too long before they showed me. So I'm going to have to explore that. For now, I put some batteries in there until I figure out the proper voltage and maybe get the right AC adapter or whatever or plug. Meantime, let's chat about my micro color TRS-80. Why the heck would I buy one of these? Because it's a wee fun little computer. Let me unplug it from over here. I actually have it plugged in to my power and everything already. But let's look at this little thing. It's like the size of my head. Not even that size. It's small. And I like spectrums, right? And this is their answer to spectrum. I believe the Spectrum came out before this because a lot of the ads that I see say, oh, this was their answer to try to have a low-end, cheaper computer that would compete against the likes of the Spectrum, right? A white computer. Mine looks pretty clean. There's a little maybe tape goo up on here like they had some tape on it. But coloring looks pretty good. It's got your typical chiclet keyboards. And if you kind of look... It's got, just like the Specky, the keywords right above characters. So you can program in a, a, a game or whatever and not have to type in the full four, F-O-R. You can just hit the uh, shift four, I guess. Up on the top, it's got the nice little Radio Shack model MC-10 TRS-80 logo. I don't know if that's picking it up. On the back, there is a switch for the RF modulator. Channel 3 or 4, I put it on 3. Radio Shack product of Korea. It's got the serial number. And that's it. No rubber feet on the bottom of here, so I'm guessing they didn't have those. On the side, there's a simple on-off button. On this side, there is nothing. On the back is where all the work's going to be done. And I don't know if the lighting's coming in well enough here, so I'll hold it in a few angles. But on the back, there is a port for plugging in your AC adapter, a TV, a reset switch, a serial I.O., and a cassette. So, let's plug this back in over here, because I want to get ready for my first power-up, because I have not plugged this in as of yet. No idea if it will work. And it will be the first time I have used a TRS-80 in, what, 40 years or whatever? It was like 1979. The older gray original Series 1, I think it was called. So what else did I receive? Well, let's open the box first for the color. So it came in this nice little box. 
And on the front, it basically just says Radio Shack TRS-80 Microcolor Computer, model MC-10. On the side, it's got some info. Easy to learn basic language, 4K RAM of memory, serial I.O., cassette port, attaches to any standard TV, includes AC adapter, instruction manual, complete ready to plug in. Says the same thing over here. Back has nothing, just the damaged buttocks. <laughs> little little hole in here. You're supposed to have a hole, right? <laughs> How else is stuff gonna come out? Okay, let's pop this open. So inside the box, the one thing they it did not have any little styrofoam buns or anything. So I don't know if these came with anything like that or not, but there's none in here. So inside the box, there is a special characters. TRS-80 Microcolor Basic Cheat Sheet, it looks like, of some kind. So that's cool. Here's what the front, it looks like a startup. Came with that. The TRS-80 CCR-81, this is the cassette unit, it looks like. This is the little booklet that came with it. Does it look like mine? Yeah, it looks like it, so that should be it. It came with the user guide, which initially I didn't think I was going to have because it was not in the pictures he posted on Facebook Marketplace. This place was about an hour, 45 minutes away from me, so I had to take a long drive. So I'm glad he said he found this and threw it in. Of course, threw it in. It's part of the computer. <laughs> uh, cable, this looks like it's for the cassette. It's got lots of little leads here for connecting to your tape player and the other end for your... MC-10, an RF cable, you never, ne never have enough of these bad boys. <laughs> this looks like a game, but there's no cassette in the place. So he purchased like a locker and it had this stuff in there. He's like an antiquer. And uh, so it came with this Raka too. So needless to say, it's just a booklet. There's no cassette. So it looks like this is a game. So maybe I can at some point download, and there's a lot of nothing in here, <coughs> um, download the game and maybe, you know, I'll have the, the matching booklet for it. It also came with a TRS-80 book. Pretty thick book too. But programs that I can key in programming book it looks like oh yeah there's labels and mortgage and all sorts of things i can sit here and type in for hours oh boy <laughs> let's put this stuff back in here including rockatoo rockatoo so cool that's that let's put this box aside came with the cassette no box like I said, I think I said, the AC adapter is, was set on 9 volts, and it should be, at least from this thing, 6 volt. Uh, I put some batteries in here, and when you pick play, it does play. The tape counter does turn, which I'm surprised, because most of the time, the, the belts in these type of players are galactic goo, and you can do nothing with them. So it was nice that this is actually so far working. The belts may need to be replaced, uh, period, but, you know, it, it's a nice-looking player, and it's white, and it matches the TRS-80. And it's got all your typical ports over here for connecting to anything. Um, and it's got volume. It's got ear. And so it's nice to have. Never can, you know, you always got to have an extra cassette player, right? And the thermal printer. So this I was able to actually test. I was smart and went online and saw that you could do a self-test by holding the feed button down while turning on the power. I just wanted to see if the power worked initially, but and it worked. So it came with a little booklet. And inside, again, no buns, but oh, let me pull out the cable. It came with the cable and the little printer. I would say this is not quite as clean as the computer. There's some scuffage on the front that needs to be... Hopefully I can get that out. If not, you know, it's overall in pretty good shape, TP10. And as you'll see from here, even though the papers, uh, you know, I just read it right off of whatever came out. The paper was pretty dirty and nasty. But it printed and I could see the characters on here. Uh, most of them. <laughs> so I've got the matching printer. It's not like I'm going to sit here and print all day with this, but it's nice to have the matching devices in case I ever do type in a program and want to do a quick little test to make sure it works and I have a, a printout. You know, it won't hurt to have it. Plus, it looks the part. So, you know, if I'm going to keep this connected up in my 
gaming room. Uh, it'll be nice to have. So that's that. Let me get this box out of the way and it's time to turn on for the first time because I have not done that yet. I strictly took the computer out of the box and get the cables connected. I want to give this thing a whirl with you guys. So let me switch the camera around and move up as close as I can. Oh, look at all that dust on the screen. That's dusty. Man, that's dusty. Okay, let, let's try this. Um, is that... Do I, yeah, and I've got everything plugged in already. I had the power cord plugged in in the back. So, let's go ahead and turn on the TV. TV coming on. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Where's the... Oh, the power button's over here. Is it pull or put? Okay, i got to pull it back towards me to turn it on. So, ready to count them with me? Three... Two. <laughs> it's gonna work. What? Hey, it's green. Oh, can you even see this? It's a little faint. Micro color. Well, this TV thing's gonna change off. Micro color basic 1.0 copyright 1982 Microsoft. Okay. The TV's. Uh, let me move it in a little closer. Hopefully, it's kind of picking up there. And let's type something in. Uh, oh, it's a little difficult here. Ten, four, oh jeez. Oh God, where's the diddly? Oh Jesus. Uh, oh no. <laughs> We're just gonna type a new ten in. I don't know, this is leaky. Ten, four, A, oh God. Equal one, two, ten. Okay, 20. Print. Hello. Oh, it's no E in there. Oh God, I gotta go back. I, I need to figure out where's where's the delete key. Uh, um, stop. End. Print. Run. <laughs> Damn it. Oh hell. Oh, we're just gonna stick with that. Uh, print hell. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thirty. Uh, next A. Next. A. Oh, A. R U N. Run. Hello. Can you even see that? Wow, it's it's a little faint. I would say maybe it's the green backdrop. But needless to say, you there is text on here. It, it seems a little faint. It's not like a dark, rich black color. Let me move this back here. Uh, now you won't see it for sure. But we're gonna wrap up this video anyway. Because this was a first test. TJ owns a TRS-80 computer. Microcolor computer, MC-10. It's going to be fun. Now, I've been exploring. There is a SD card type of device that you can purchase that adds extra memory. Because this only has like 4K. It gives it like 32K. And SD card capability so you can store all sorts of games and stuff on there. I need to get one of those. I actually emailed the gentleman already. But I haven't heard back. And some other folks in the Facebook group I'm in said he's probably really busy. So I'll try again at a later time. But hopefully I could score one of those. Because I'd like to make this useful. And I don't want to use the cassette. Because cassettes a lot of voodoo. A lot of black magic. <laughs> sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. And if you play them backwards, yeah, it is saying uh, Paul is dead. So anyway, you kids won't know what that means. <laughs> I barely know what that means. I was born in 66, so I'm not that old, but I'm old enough to know what the Beatles are. So, uh, And I remember probably 1969. I was only three years old, and I kind of remember a little bit of the Beatles in my head. My parents playing it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. TJ owns an MC-10. I'm ready to rock and roll with doing some more with this cool little platform. And why did I buy it? Because it's cool. It's small. I love small little computers like a Speccy. Really neat. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.